What is up guys, Strats here and I'm back with another tutorial. Um, this one's kind of going to be for um, backgrounds, uh, if you're making backgrounds it's a nice little effect you can put on the boxes like the modules where uh, all the stuff goes inside and um, it's a cool little effect so you want to go onto Photoshop, um, go and open your template, uh, I can't remember, yeah. um, open your layout template and from there, um, I'm just gonna change the background quickly. There we go. Okay. Um, zoom in a bit, and then I want to have a bit of bit of effect on the background. So um, I'll just make it a bit lighter. That'll do. All right. Um, so basically, we're just gonna be working on these white boxes here. First of all, I'm going to change colour because they stand out too much. Um, so whatever colour you're using, I'm going to use a nice um, green colour. So you want to make um, you want to make these kind of dark. You don't you don't want bright colours on boxes because it really doesn't look that great. Um, but do whatever you think looks great. But I'm going to use these two kind of gradients. Um, in fact, no, I only need one colour, sorry. Alright, I'm going to go to Bucket, make sure I've got the mask over there by, I'll do that again, making a new layout over the boxes, going to Alt, Alt on the Mac, um, I can't remember what, yeah, it's Alt on both actually. Um, clicking Alt to mask it and Paint Bucket over there. Now I'm going to merge that down. This is where we add the clouds, so add another layer, go to filter, and then render, and then clouds. In fact, undo that, I want them to be black and white. Do that again, just with black and white colours, and then I've done it on the wrong layer. I'm being dopey today. <laughs> right, clouds on that layer, mask it again, and then I'm going to put an effect of soft light on it, and bring the opacity down, so it kind of got a texture to the texture to the boxes. I'm gonna add another layer, mask that again and do soft uh, overlay. Um, then I'm gonna go to the white and a brush, a soft brush, you want the uh, blended one that fades out of the edges. And now I'm just gonna click around and I'm gonna kind of light up some parts of the boxes which kind of gives it a really nice effect. And uh, yeah. So once I've done that, um, I might make the layout, uh, the boxes a bit darker because they do look pretty bright. So I'll bring that down a bit. That will do. Okay, now we're going to go into the effects part of it. So effects, stroke, uh, first stroke, and we're going to have a light greyish colour. Then go to inner shadow. I'm going to zoom in for this actually, hold up, here we go, so we've got our inner shadow, if it lets me do that, there we go, and opacity all the way, distance zero, and then just going to make the spread about 15 or so, bring the size up a bit more, and that will do, and then we want to add a drop shadow, I don't know why I came out of that. Go to drop shadow and kind of the same uh, that you've done in the inner shadow. There we go. I'm going to zoom out again a bit. Right, there we go. Okay, now that looks that looks pretty nice already. I probably use that as a background because I just like uh, how clean it looks. Um, we're going to add gloss now. Let's add a new layer. Mask it again, and then go to the rectangular tool. I'm just gonna go halfway over that, go to gradient, make sure it's on white, change that to tr white to transparent, go to here, drag it down as so. That's a bit too bright. Uh, sheet reselect, try that again. There, yeah, that's better. You don't want the gloss to stand out too much, otherwise it just looks kind of stupid, to be honest. 
Um, I want to do the same again, but I want to do it on this box. I'm not going to do it for all the box. I'm just going to do it to the top and the middle. I'm going to merge that, and then I'm going to make a new one, and then just drag it over like that with the um, circular marquee tool, the optical. That's what it's properly called, but whatever. Then go to the rectangular one again, hold down Alt, and then drag it over this box here. So when you put the gloss on, it won't go into that box as well, it'll just go into the bottom box like so. Like that. Now, if you want to add a bit more to that, um, this tutorial is basically just to. Um, show a nice little effect on the boxes which as you can see actually looks really nice just like that um, if you want to add more usually what I do is make a new layer just get the rectangular shape sorry about that I should have turned the audio off but whatever um, then I'm gonna use a dark green get the uh, rectangular shape tool go about there drag it round the back of the layer so it kind of gives it a background to the modules as well. Once I've got that, you can kind of make that any colour. Just make sure it kind of um, does match the colour you're already using. Uh, I might make it a dark grey. Yeah, that's nice. Right, now a nice thing to do when you've got that is copy the layer style of the boxes and paste it onto there. And as you can see, it gives it a more... Uh, another nice effect as well and if you go and look at my borders tutorial you can do some nice sides um, and all that stuff and that's pretty much it so thanks a lot for watching and I hope you like this video hope you can get some help off it and hope you enjoy it so peace out struts